In part two, how to observe and record information about student learning, you will learn about classroom observation and how to observe learning. I will then show you some useful observation tools that makes it easier to collect and record information. When you know how to observe and record information about student learning, it enables you to give teachers feedback that helps them to respond to students' learning needs. Classroom observation is a method of collecting and recording information about students by noticing what they do, talking with them, asking questions and listening to their responses. It is the key method used to collect information during the formative assessment process. First, we observe what students know and can do and record the information, either as it happens or soon afterwards. Then we evaluate the information to determine how much progress students have made towards their learning goal, plan what students need to do next, and implement the appropriate learning experiences. The information gathered through observations is used to improve how teachers teach and how students learn, and to respond to students' social, emotional, and developmental needs. Let's look at a few examples. Observations can help us understand students better by learning more about their interests, strengths, weaknesses, and experiences. They are a key method used to monitor students' behaviour to identify the frequency of certain behaviours, the events leading up to the behaviour, and identify possible triggers. Observations are also used to track students' skill development, including fine motor skills, such as using correct pencil grip, writing inside the lines, and being able to cut around simple shapes, as well as gross motor skills, such as running and jumping. Teachers and specialists use observations to develop individual learning plans by gathering information that is specific and measurable. Classroom observations are most commonly used to track students' progress in different subject areas to reveal what students know, understand and can do. TAs are well placed to help teachers track students' progress while the teacher is teaching. So let's have a look at how to do this. Observations are an accurate description of what we hear students say and see them do. This is sometimes referred to as the visible results of learning. This example shows how a TA accurately observes and describes what students say and do. The TA is working with a small group of students who are learning to tell the time on an analog clock. When the TA asks Tom what time it is, he answers two o'clock. The TA asks Tom to point to the hour hand. Tom looks at the clock for a while and points to the 12. I mix them up, Tom says, and counts the minutes. It's 10 minutes past 12. The TA is now able to give the teacher an accurate description of what Tom was able to do. The learning intention and success criteria help us to accurately observe and describe learning. For example, in this busy classroom, the TA doesn't know what the teacher wants her to observe and is feeling confused as there are so many things going on. Now compare it with this picture. This time the TA knows that the students are learning to simplify fractions. What information do you think the teacher wants the TA to observe? Did you say something like, the teacher wants to know if the students can successfully simplify fractions? Let's have a closer look at how the learning intention and success criteria are used to observe student learning. 